Good evening everyone and welcome to our opening College Mass for 2020, which formally begins our 50th year celebrations. My name is Joshua Piovison and this is Daisy Rickard and we will are two of the College Captains this year. On behalf of Mr Kennedy, our Principal, staff and students, we extend a very special welcome to our Year 7 students and their families and to new students who have joined us at other year levels. We also extend a very warm welcome to Archbishop Commonsoli, who will lead us in our celebration tonight. Father Albert and Father Anil will also be concelebrating with him. We also acknowledge the presence of our own Sister Geraldine Whelan, who represents the Sisters of St Joseph, Lee Revel, the Chairman of the College Board, and the principals of our parish primary schools. As we begin our celebration, we acknowledge that we are gathering on the sacred lands of the people of the Kulin Nation. For many thousands of years, the Creator Spirit has been working in the hearts and the minds of the indigenous people of the Kulin Nation, and that same spirit is present with us tonight. In remembering that God is present with us always, we follow the example set to us by St Mary of the Cross MacKillop, whose own faith in Jesus allowed her to stay strong in the face of all of the challenges that confronted her during her life. Tonight, the words of, for the hymns we sing and the responses will be presented on the screens. We ask and encourage your full participation in the liturgy. Our celebration tonight commences with the entrance of the 2020 Year 7 students. They will be led into our community by students carrying a candle representing each year level. Please remain seated for this procession.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you all. Friends, it's good to be here with you at this launch of the 50th anniversary year of a MacKillop Catholic Regional College. My first visit to the college, not to Werribee, but in fact, I went to the other part of the college first. I went over to the St. Mary's campus. Never trust a GS, you, you, um, GPS, always takes you in strange places. But it's lovely to be able to gather here with you students, staff, parents and leaders of the school and to be able to be here with my brother priests in the area and uh, to be able to celebrate this wonderful launch or beginning of your 50th anniversary uh, with this celebration mass. Brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins and so prepare ourselves for these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. May the virgin martyr Saint Agatha, whose feast day is today, implore your compassion for us, O Lord, we pray. For she found favour with you by the courage of her martyrdom and the merit of her chastity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul's to the Corinthians. God has chosen those who are nothing at all. Take yourselves, brothers, at the time when you were called. How many of you were wise in the ordinary sense of the word? How many were influential people or came from noble families? No, it was to shame the wise that God chose what is foolish by human reckoning and to shame what is strong that he chose what is weak by human reckoning. Those wh whom the world thinks common and contemptible are the ones that God has chosen. Those who are nothing at all to show up to those who are everything. The human race has nothing to boast about to God. But you, God has made members of Christ Jesus and by God's doing, he has become our wisdom and our virtue and our holiness and our freedom. As scripture says, if anyone wants to boast, let him boast about the Lord, the word of the God. Thanks be to God. The response is, into your hands, O Lord, I entrust my spirit. Be a rock of refuge for me, a mighty stronghold to save me, for you are my rock my stronghold. For your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Into your hands, O Lord, I entrust my spirit. Into your hands I commend my spirit. It is you who will redeem me, Lord. As for me, I trust in the Lord. Let me be glad and rejoice in your love. I entrust my spirit. My life is in your hands. Deliver me from the hands of those who hate me. Let your face shine on your servant. Save me in your love. Into your hands, O Lord, I entrust my spirit. Please stand to welcome the gospel.
sheep, listen to my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. God be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Those who lose their lives for my sake will save them. To all, Jesus said, if anyone wants to be a follower of mine, let him renounce himself and take up his cross every day and follow me. For anyone who wants to save his life will lose it. But anyone who loses his life for my sake, that man will save it. What gain, then, is it for a man to have won the whole world and to have lost or ruined his very self? For if anyone is ashamed of me and of my words, of him the Son of Man will be ashamed when he comes in his own glory and in the glory of the Father and the holy angels. The Gospel of the Lord. Uh, like lots of people, probably many of you, I had my holidays during January, which as a result, I finally got around to watching Stranger Things on Netflix. Binge-worthy, I think. It's a great show, completely far-fetched, of course, but I was really taken with all the student characters as you know, Mike and his gang all hang out on the edge of the cool. They're not in the centre. They're all a bit nerdy, a bit awkward. But they're, they're not in with the in crowd and probably never will be. Yet they are great kids, strong on friendship, strong on loyalty and honesty, strong on allowing each other to shine. Yes, they have all the same angst and hang-ups any teenager has, relationship questions, image concerns and so on. But this is not what I most noticed about them. Rather, it was their goodness of heart and their determination to strive to do what is right. Mike and his gang are good kids, looking after each other, and you want the best for them. One aspect shines out in particular about them. 
They each do what they can for their friends. There is very little self-focus going on among them, very little attention-seeking on themselves. Instead, their attention is firmly turned towards the good of each other. Here is a group of kids who are not influenced by their society standards. They don't come from the upmarket families. Yet, they are strong in ways that are indeed noble and good. When St. Paul was writing to the Corinthian Christians, as we heard in our first reading today, you might get the impression that he had something like Mike and his friends in mind when he said, to shame the wise, God chose those what is foolish by human reckoning, and to shame the strong, he chose the weak. In other words, the way that God measures and treasures us is not in worldly ways, in worldly measures. Instead, as St. Paul went on to say, God looks for a wisdom, a virtue, a holiness, and a freedom in us that he looks for in the wisdom, virtue, holiness, and freedom of his own Son, Jesus Christ. A Catholic school, if it wants to be evidently different from the state school down the road, needs this way of God's measurement flowing through its educational veins. We have, you have, Jesus Christ, who offers a way of learning and teaching that is not measured by worldly standards, but offers a way of living well in the fullness of our humanity. As Jesus put to his disciples in the gospel, what gain is there for someone to have won the whole world, but to have lost or ruined their very self? You are being invited by God to be a disciple of his son Jesus. You are being called to live by a different way, one that prefers to measure our worth not by what we can gain for ourselves, but by what each of us can gain for one another in the way of Jesus. It is to live and to learn according to your school motto, up there at the back of me, I think, somewhere, yes, where the joy of living a life of goodness and the freedom to pursue excellence in your life is learnt by practising the way of Jesus in your lives. For if you do not believe in something, you will fall for anything and end up believing in nothing. So students and staff, parents and leaders of MacKillop Catholic Regional College, Jesus Christ is inviting you to make this place into a living sign of what is good and true and right. So that if you have something to boast about, let it be to boast in the measure of your freedom and joy in the Lord.
Happy 50th anniversary. Friends, I invite you to stand. Friends, gathered as one to celebrate the good things we have received from our God, let us ask him to prompt in us prayers that are worthy of his hearing. We pray for all those who serve and lead in the church. May they follow in the example of Christ. The Good Shepherd and Saint Agatha, who was a model of dedication and faith. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the people of our country. May we follow in the footsteps of Saint Mary of the Cross MacKillop by showing the Lord's compassion to all those we meet. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the students of MacKillop College Werribee and all young people. May we continue to nurture our relationship with Jesus by living life with an open heart and an open mind, always considering how we can be a service to others. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the staff of MacKillop and all those who are educators as they help their students to grow in knowledge, faith, hope, and love. May they trust in the shepherd who nurtures them. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our family and friends of MacKillop College who call to us to be more loving and caring each day. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those experiencing suffering. May we never let our hearts grow cold or desensitized to the needs of others. May we nurture the following example of St. Mary of the Cross MacKillop, and may they draw on, the, on inner strength like St. Agatha. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. Father of life, you call each of us to serve you with faithfulness and joy. Hear our prayers and bring us to the joy that never ends. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord set the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Yes. May we receive, O Lord, we pray, the effects of this offering dedicated to you, so that we may be cleansed from old earthly ways, and through the example of blessed Saint Agatha, be renewed by growth in heavenly life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyr, Saint Agatha, poured out like Christ's to glorify your name, shows forth your marvellous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. So with the powers of heaven we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end we acclaim. might remain standing. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving you thanks, he, sa he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognising the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make, us, make of us an eternal following to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with the elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and her spouse, St. Joseph, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with saints and Agatha, whose feast we celebrate today, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope. Peter, our bishop, his assistant bishops, the order of bishops, and all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for yourself. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. At our Saviour's command and form by divine teaching, we now dare to pray. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And let's turn to one another and offer that gift of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep you safe for eternal life. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ, the body of Christ, the body of Christ, the body of Christ, the body of Christ. Ah, oh. sorry, I didn't realize you were over this side too. The body of Christ, the body of Christ, the body of Christ, the body of Christ.
Let us pray. Renewed by heavenly bread, we humbly beseech your mercy, O Lord, that we who rejoice in commemorating blessed Saint Agatha may obtain pardon for our offences, health for our bodies, and grace and eternal glory for our souls. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Might like to be seated as Mr. Kennedy is now going to speak with us. On behalf of the students, staff and parents, I would very much like to thank Archbishop Peter for joining us this evening. As a college, we are delighted to have you with our presence tonight, Archbishop Peter. It enables us to start the academic year 
in the way that we would like to, and of course, our 50 years as a college in this community. So thank you very much for being here. And as a token of our appreciation, on behalf of the community of MacKillop College, we'd like you to take this small gift from us. We also thank Father Albert, St Andrew's Parish Priest, along with Father Anil from St Andrew's, and of course, Father Frank, Pastor Emeritus, who by celebrating tonight, continue to, continue to support MacKillop in this very practical way. So thank you very much, each and every one of you. I express my thanks to our primary school principals, along with our secondary principals from our associate Catholic colleges. Their presence tonight reminds us that MacKillop is part of a system that is collegial, supportive, and strength-giving. Our faith is and remains the life of this college. Our theme for 2020, gratitude is the memory of the heart. Gratitude is the memory of the heart. Let us be grateful for the Sisters of St Joseph who have had an association with MacKillop since 1970 in leadership, teaching, support and guidance. We never take the legacy or the presence of the sisters for granted. For 50 years, they have walked with us. On that note, a unique way to commemorate this occasion of 50 years is the passing forward of a message baton to other schools that are, are members of the association of Josephite affiliated secondary schools. These are secondary colleges that draw upon the charism of St Mary MacKillop as the conduit to Jesus. The baton on my left is an invitation for these schools to be part of our celebrations by writing a, a brief message of their experiences with MacKillop College which will then become part of our history. And the messages will be shared with our students into the future. I would now like to invite Kate Dishon, the principal of Mount St Joseph Girls College Altona, to come forward to be the first Josephite school to receive our message baton. Two thousand and twenty. It will be an outstanding twelve months ahead as we celebrate the milestone of fifty years of Catholic secondary education in Werribee. This year, our students will give themselves the opportunity to realise their potential. We will all work to continue to be supportive of those in need. And all of us will make good choices, which will bring good outcomes for self, others, and our school. And all of us will commit to work hard. Again, as has already been extended, I too extend a very warm welcome to our Year 7 students and their families, particularly if this is their first encounter of opening Mass at MacKillop. We wish all of our students, and especially our Year 12s, 
who we have incredibly high expectations of this year. All the best for 2020. I know that Mary McKillop would be proud of one of her schools as she looks over us tonight. I am most grateful for the participation of every student here. I congratulate you all, particularly our readers, musicians, singers, and all others involved in our celebration. You are a genuine credit to our college. And of course, a sincere thanks to all the staff who were involved in tonight's preparation. This evening's opening mass will be the catalyst for another successful year. And of course, for the celebration of the past 50 years. So let us work together to achieve our goals of 2020. I would now ask his Archbishop Peter to come forward for the final blessing. Oh, sorry. Well done. Uh, can you all be seated for a moment? Except for, except for, can you seven stand, please? Thank you. Now, I got to, I can't see out there. We need a bit more light, folks. We're going blind out here. Um, where's year 12? Year 12, can you all stand? Year 12. I know you're all over the place. I can't jump, that's too far. I'll come down. <laughs> so wherever year 12 is, come to me here. Year 12, come to me here now, if you could please. How are you? Hello, everyone. How are you all? Good on you. Is it, is it... Now, while Year 12 is coming, uh, this is the first time that I've actually celebrated an opening school mass in the evening and so many parents are here. It's just wonderful. Well done. Absolutely well done. Um, now, how are we going to do this? So Year 12, can you sort of... I want you to face me. In fact, I want you to face Year 7. So come in, come in. So squash, squash, squash. You all spread. Year seven, check them out. They're looking pretty cool, aren't they? Yes. Year 12. Check them out. Come on, not me, them. <laughs> Can you remember yourselves six years ago? That's what you were like. <laughs> um, probably nervous. Little sort of all, God, what's it going to be like? Um, new people to meet, all the challenges of that. Some friends maybe that came with you from primary school. Um, but uh, trying to find all those new sort of experiences and finding all these new people you have to be with. So imagine what it's like for them at the moment. So year 12, look at the year sevens. Some of you can spread out and look over those over there a little bit. <laughs> and I want to ask you something from you, year 12. Because all these ones here, feeling that same sense of, that you may have felt six years ago. All those many, many emotions, and particularly at this very second day, third, no, it's fourth day of school here. So can I ask something of you, Year 12, in a particular way? Pray for them. Befriend them. Walk with them and show them a good way. You reckon you can do that? Yeah? yeah. Um, they can't hear you go to do that. Yeah. Will you? Yeah. Thank you. Hang, hang there. 
year seven. That's what you're going to look like in six years. <laughs> and there's such a journey ahead for you. It's a wonderful journey. But these ones are going through the kind of the tough year this year because um, uh, the VCE's got to, that's the end of the year for them or the exams of some sort that they'll be doing. They're trying to make decisions about what they're going to do next year and all the worries about that. Imagine all those worries they've got to make. You don't have to worry about that yet, but they're worrying about it now a bit. And they're nervous about having to do their studies and trying to make their way. And not quite like you yet, but this lot, you know, oh, you know nearly adults. Ooh. So year seven, while you're looking at year 12, I want to ask you something. Can you give them your prayer, especially this year, so that they make this journey of their final year of schooling with the support and the care that you can give to them? So year seven, will you pray for them? Well, about five of you will. <laughs> I can, I can see about 150 of you at the moment. Year 7, will you offer your prayer and support to Year 12 this year? Yes. That's good. That's good. Um, I don't know. Every school's different. So you've got, you got year leaders, year uh, teacher leaders. What's the go? No, not school captains. No, 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 no. I know some of you. No, teacher leaders. Are there teacher leaders amongst in your, each class? What is it? No. Somebody in the staff? Homeroom teachers. Homeroom teachers, that's it. You got homeroom teachers? Yes. You got homeroom teachers yet? Where's the homeroom teachers? Can I come out for year seven and year 12? Homeroom teachers. Up here. Please. Thank you. Hello. 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 Thank you. Good on you. Hello. 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 How are you going? How are you going? Thank you. Hello. Hello. And hello. Um, so staff, uh, simple thing to ask for you. You just heard that Year 7 would like to pray for Year 12. Year 12 would like to pray for Year 7. Um, can you help them to do that? Find ways within your, um, your gatherings um, to have those relationships to be able to develop in relationships of, of prayer and spiritual life and grace that might happen. Is that okay? Yep. Yes. Good on you. Thank you for what you're doing. Just thank you for what you're doing as well yeah, for everyone. Uh, whoever's controlling my microphone, can I ask you just to turn it off for a moment?
Now I might have my microphone back. And so I invite everyone to stand now for the blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Our help is in the name of the Lord. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, proclaiming the gospel by your lives. What you have just heard was a song commissioned for our 50th year. It's our new MacKillop song. It's one that we will sing firstly tonight and hopefully for the next 50 years. And on that note, to our singers, I'd like to thank you so much for all that you brought to this evening's celebrations. Well done to all of you. And we have a first for everything. That's the first time I've known an Archbishop to go so far off script. <laughs> and yet, we still got there. Thank you for being in attendance tonight. Safe drive home. <laughs>